This week we're going to take a look at a project I've been working on for a couple weeks, and it's an optics bench. An optics bench, for, for those of you who don't know, is kind of a piece of equipment that lets you use lenses and mirrors to kind of check out how the lens works and to kind of learn how it works. So here's a basic concept. You're going to put this um, mirror, this ground glass, which is a piece of glass that reflects images, and then you have a lens, which you move in and out really precisely. So this project was built around this piece I bought from Surplus Shed. And Surplus Shed is like kind of like a big distributor of um, really cheap optics parts. So I bought this for kind of cheap, and I wanted to build a bench around it, and the bench they sold on the website was like 30 or 40 bucks. So I kind of just wanted to make my own. And then if I made my own, I'd be able to um, add my own parts, and it wouldn't cost much more. I just had to 3D print them. So a really good use of 3D printing and a really good use of something I just kind of needed. So how do I use these old things lying around my house to make new things? And one of the old things is lenses. So here's an old Kodak lens. And the mount I made basically is just a holder for the Kodak lens. So a hole, and then you have the um, end ring right there, a retaining ring. And then once you have it in there, you can use it, and it's very precise. So um, even though it's wobbly a little bit right here, it's still on something, and it's still grounded. And then I'll put a light on it to see what it is. So this is a really cool lens. It's a, a medium format, maybe even a large format lens. And I just thought it looked cool, and I wanted to use it on some um, newer bodies. Here's the ground glass holder. And the ground glass is um, kind of special. It allows images to be reflected on it. So this holder, and I'll talk a little bit about later, which is made in Autodesk 1, 2, 3D as everything else. Um, these are the ends. And I'm, I'm pr kind of practicing with screws. So I'm having screw holes and using the screw holes on these dowels that I just picked up from a home improvement store. Um, a really simple build. And it looks complicated, but it's actually super simple. And so here's it in action right here. I'm moving it forward and back. And I have to lower it so I have these hand screws and I basically unscrew it lower it and I can uh, use it more precisely so when you do get it to work you're able to look at images and reflect images onto the ground glass and know how far you need your lenses and things to be apart so here's what it looks like on one two three D design so pretty simple I broke it out because um, the post out because I'm probably going to use the post on a lot of other things so if I had to have to make a holder for a bigger lens or a small lens I can just um, put the whole the holder onto that here's the ends and it's really simple it's just a cube with cutouts on it and so this one i stole the design tips from adafruit um and they were designing a case around a raspberry pi and they showed how to do these screw holes and the um uh, standoffs and i took it verbatim from them and then they also show how to cut a box in half and so um and the, I, I didn't really study this in college or anything, so I'm learning it all through YouTube videos. And that's a really great channel. So Layer by Layer from Adafruit is a really just great way to learn about this new way just to make stuff using 1, 2, 3D design. And so I finished this project, and I'm really happy with it. It's something I can use immediately. And it's also something that shows how great um, 3D printing is. This thing costs a lot of money um, if it's not 3D printed because it's there's not a lot of demand for it. And it kind of costs, um, it's kind of complicated, but if you can learn how to 3D print, you can start making stuff like this on the cheap. So it um, cost me less than $30 in materials. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I hope you guys, if you guys want to see more about the making process, let me know. And more about um, how to use it, let me know. But um, thanks for tuning in this week. Thank you. Bye.